Hi, this is Tim Santoni, and today uh, Ben Gomez joins me. We're coming to you from Santoni headquarters here. We're talking a little bit about those questions and stumbling blocks a lot of our employers ask us in the sales process after they come on board. And we're gonna break down these questions and hopefully shed some light on these topics to help you in your onboarding process, your screening process, and managing compliance and risk in your organization. So Ben's gonna pepper me with questions, and so let's get started. Why is it so hard to verify past employment? You know, it, there's a lot of things that contribute to why it could be difficult to verify past employment. One is, is companies are bought and sold. Two is they go out of business. Three is sometimes they're just not set up from an HR perspective to, to provide information. And other times they require other forms, disclosures and information and fees to do so. So taking that on on your own can be a daunting task. Additionally, a lot of employers have migrated to electronic verifications through things like the work number. And so in order to access those, you have to have an account. So if someone works for a company like Lowe's, for instance, you cannot call their HR department and verify. You actually have to have an account. So that's where having a partner or uh, you know someone to assist with can really help. So thank you so much for tuning into the show. If you have any questions or stumbling blocks with your employment background screening or onboarding process, please feel free to reach out to us. Leave some information in the comments below and we look forward to connecting with you. Thanks. We should have a bumpers. <laughs> we do. We need a going at it. Try it on. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in front of a camera like it's this. Red. It's red. It's blinking yeah. red, right? Actually, I think you're a little off center. Hi, this is Tim Santoni, and today, Ben, uh, Benjamina, Benito, Benito, Benjamina. That's gonna stick.